Is there an idea more radical in the history of the human race than turning your children over to total strangers who you know nothing about and having those strangers work on your child's mind out of your sight for a period of 12 years. Could there be a more radical idea than that? We're choking to death in 50 states of the union and it's no longer tolerable and it's no longer a matter to be debated. The more you intrude in a kid's life, the more you say this is what you need to know to pass the SATs, the more wrecked the kid becomes, the more irrelevant this thing called education is because there is no correlation, none at all, between school grades or SAT tests and anything in future life. In fact, in many instances, there are negative correlations. The better you do in this area, the worse you will do. It's a cult. It's a, it's a secular religion. It's a jobs project. The strongest power that the school institution has is your fear. That's, that's where at large, it's true that they can select one person and by a gargantuan effort and six months spying and a huge outlay of money, they can crush that person's life. It is true. I'll tell you what's not true. They can't do that to eight people. They don't have the resources. And I think we're at a juncture now in American history when a gauntlet has to be thrown down. I say you take the voucher money and you disregard the orders and instructions that come with it and you close the door to the inspection teams. Now is that bravado? Tell me something. How do you think a loudmouth like John Gatto survived in an inner city Manhattan school for 30 years, overwhelmed? It was the socialist capital, not of New York State, of the United States, the Upper West Side of Manhattan. So I was persona non grata from the get go. It is an Alice in Wonderland house of cards. Don't tell me that you're going to negotiate with these people. <laughs> Only your good example will bring them along. When your boot's on their neck, they'll come along. There are no advances in human history that have come about through negotiation. It's simply drawing a line in the sand and saying, if you cross that line, I will kill you. It's that simple. And if the enemy says, but we outnumber you 50 to 1, you can say the French warriors outnumbered the Romans 50 to 1. And France became a Roman province. Knock me down, I'll get back up again. Kill me, I'll become a martyr.